Hello and welcome back to the GeoRGB community. Today we are going to learn how to create a bubble map using QGIS in less than 10 minutes. A bubble map is something very intuitive where we are going to represent the quantities of a specific variable with circles. It is a kind of map that anyone can understand. People don't need to have any previous experience because of the simplicity of the map. As bigger is the circle, bigger is the quantity. Then we can say that the circles are going to be proportional depending on the quantity of the variable. Today we are going to be working with real data. What we are going to do is a bubble map based on the zinc concentration in an area where we have contaminated soils. You are going to see that the execution of these kind of maps is pretty easy, but the results are pretty powerful because you are going to see how the data is distributed in your area just in a glance. Okay, let's go to start the map. First, what we want to do is to load the data on QGIS. I already did, and I'm going to work with the Muse River data set. As you can see, this data set is related with a few parameters that are metals in soils. Also, in this data set, we have the coordinates, the elevation of the terrain, the distance to the river and other parameters. But for this tutorial, what we are going to use is the zinc concentration that is in PPM. Also, if you want to get this data set, you can go to the GeoRGB community website, then go to courses at this course.online, go to courses, click on this course, the geostatistic course for beginners, creating algorithm with R for QGIS, then get enrolled, start the course, then in lesson two, here you have a tutorial about how to get that data set. It's this data set, heavy metals in soils. And also here you can download the CSV file. And also here you are going to learn how to pass from this kind of format to a shape file. And that's what I have here. This one, as you can see, if we go to properties, what we have is a shape file. Other alternative is to watch the tutorial in YouTube at the GeoRGB channel, as you can see over here, and it is this lesson. But here you are not going to have the chance to download the file, just watch the tutorial. Then my recommendation is go to the GeoRGB community website and download the file. The next step is to load the satellite imagery to give to the data some geographical context, then go to website, here to the web, quick map services, and load the Google uh, Earth satellite imagery. It's this one, and let's go to change the color of the dogs. Properties for a... In this case, we are going to use a kind of green, but you can choose any color, okay? It depends on you. For me, something like that is good. Apply and OK. If you don't know how to get the Quit Map Services plugin to load satellite imagery, you can go to the YouTube channel of the GeoRGB. Then go to this tutorial over here, download and georeference Google Earth images. And here you have a full explanation about that plugin. I'm going to leave the link at the video description. Now what we are going to do is go to properties of this layer, then click on here. We are going to apply some opacity. Then for example, let's go to try something like 50%, apply, and now we are going to work on the bubble map. Let's go to select this option over here, then go here, click on this option and go to assistant. Then here you can refresh to get the maximum and the minimum values. But first we have to select the parameter. We want the sync, then refresh. And here is indicating the minimum and the maximum value. But you can put any range, okay? 
Also, you can modify the size of the circle, uh, changing these values over here. And also you can select to apply uh, transform curve and you can make some modifications here also for the for the radius of the circle as you can see and other options are related with the the scale method you can use different type of scales then that's okay and apply and okay also i would like to change the stroke color and also width to make something more visible and what i'm going to choose is a white color okay as you can see here we have a black color i'm going to change for a white color move over here that's okay we have white color and here i'm going to change the the width okay then for example let's go to see something 0.5 and apply and okay and I believe now it's more more visible than before. The next step is to work on the legend. Then click on the data set, go to properties, and we are going to select this option over here and then go here advanced and we are going to select data define size legend. Then here we have two different kind of legends. We can use this one where it's quantity has a different size for the circle or we can put all together okay as you can see over here i prefer this one but it depends on you okay then i'm going to define an, a specific range then i have to select this option at add the ranges then i'm going to start from 300 and i'm going to create intervals of 300 ppm i'm going to pass the video faster that's okay then i can Play OK and apply and now I have the legend over here. OK, now what I'm going to do is create the print layout. Then click on this option over here. Select any name. I'm going to put just the number one and OK. Now I don't want uh, landscape. I'm going to change. Go to click right on your mouse. Go to page properties. And now I'm going to select the other one, this one. And I'm going to bring them up over here going to select all the area and for the scale I want 20,000 okay then with this option over here I can move the map inside and I'm going to put more or less to the center and I'm going to add the legend then click this option over here select an area and that's it now take this one out and then you can remove this one from the legend okay and also i am going to edit this kind of information but we have to go here again and here i'm going to rename this layer that is going to be muse river data set also i'm going to change the name of this one no i cannot change this one over here i have to do that one on the legend then go to the legend again double click here and this one is going to be sync concentration in ppm then that's okay and i'm going to make some additions here i'm going to change the background then go here to the background and i'm going to make this one a little bit transparent maybe something like that and now i'm going to change the font of the title and edc go here to the font and text then for this one it's going to be let me see 14 and ball apply it's changing that one then for this one it's going to be 12 ball okay it's changing the other one and i want this one to the center then i'm going to add the title here at the top it's going to be legend and also I am going to edit that test over here. Title is going to be 16 ball. Okay. And I want this one also to the center. And here we can change the size of the symbols here. A little bit bigger, seven and seven. 
and that's it then let's go to place this one over here okay that's it that's that's okay then what i'm going to do is export the map click this button over here close and i'm going to save let me see if i have a folder for this one i have to create a new folder that is going to be bubble map and i'm going to save inside here save and save the resolution and the dimension it was good double click to open and that is the final result okay thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next lesson